We turn now to male infertility. It is an affliction that many struggle with in silence, and we could be headed toward a crisis. Sperm counts and testosterone levels in males in different areas of the United States, they are significantly low. ...of semen dropped more than 52%. Testosterone levels have steadily declined over the past few... Why is there such a decrease in testosterone levels in men in comparison to earlier generations? A major talking point online you may have heard from your favorite health influencer is that testosterone levels in the male population are declining and we are all doomed. Now, to be honest, as a natural skeptic that I am, I thought this may have been a little bit of sensationalism, so I wanted to look into the research myself. Well, it turns out that on a population level, testosterone levels may actually be declining, but that doesn't mean that there is not anything you as an individual can do about it. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel where we discuss the latest topics on health and wellness. My name's Dr. Adam Nessam, and I'm interested in sports, medicine, and performance. And today we're going to be diving into declining testosterone levels and exploring the possible reasons behind it. Before we dig into this further, let's first understand what testosterone is and why it's important. Testosterone is a hormone primarily produced in the testicles that plays a crucial role in the development of male characteristics such as muscle mass, bone density, sexual function, overall mood, and energy levels. According to a study population in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism, testosterone levels in men have been declining by approximately 1% per year over the past few decades. This means that a 60-year-old man in 2020 had testosterone levels that are about 17% lower than a 60-year-old man in 1980. So what are the reasons behind this decline? Well, the answer is not so simple, and there are likely several factors at play. One possible explanation is the increase in obesity rates. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism found that men who were overweight or obese had significantly lower testosterone levels compared to men at a healthy weight. Now, this is because fat cells actually convert testosterone into estrogen, which ultimately leads to a decrease in testosterone levels. As we have seen obesity levels rise in the U.S., it would make sense that testosterone levels would therefore decline. A review article published in the Journal of Environmental Health Perspectives suggests that exposure to environmental toxins such as phthalates and bisphenol A may contribute to declining testosterone levels in men. These chemicals are commonly found in plastics and can disrupt the endocrine system leading to hormonal imbalances. However, there's a lot of fear mongering regarding this issue and the research is not fully there. So I would say, do you have to be worried about drinking out of a water bottle? No, but maybe be careful leaving it out in the hot sun all day and then drinking it. Finally, sedentary lifestyles and a lack of exercise may also be a contributing factor. A study published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research found that men who exercise regularly had higher testosterone levels compared to men who were sedentary. This is not too surprising and should be a great motivator to go out and exercise as it is one of many other additional benefits. Okay, before we move on, if you're getting any value from this video or are interested in hearing more about sports medicine or human performance, it would mean the world for me if you would subscribe. Another important factor potentially leading to lower testosterone in men is stress and poor sleep quality. A study published in the Journal of Andrology found that men who reported higher levels of stress had significantly lower testosterone levels compared to men who reported lower levels of stress. Another study published in the Journal of American Medical Association found that sleep deprivation led to decrease in testosterone levels in healthy young men. The importance of sleep is definitely a health factor that is starting to be pushed more in the public consciousness. However, in the fast-paced nature of the world we live in, when many professions are working their employees hard, I know personally Personally, sometimes sleep may be sacrificed. However, it is extremely important to try and prioritize your sleep the best you can. I recently got an aura ring and you can see it right here. I wear it while I'm sleeping and it tracks the quality and I've really been enjoying it. Overall, the decline in testosterone levels in men is a complex issue with many factors at play. The increase in obesity rates, exposure to environmental toxins, sedentary lifestyle, and lack of sleep are just a few examples. However, while there may be a population change, and I'd still like to see continued research on if that trend is continuing into exactly what level, there is still a lot that you can do on a personal level to ensure your testosterone levels are well within the reference range and you are feeling at your best. Prioritize a good diet, maintain a healthy weight, exercise, sleep, and you're off to a great start. If after all that, you are still feeling the effects of low testosterone, then there are many other options that could be beneficial to you, such as testosterone replacement therapy, but the risks and benefits of that require its own separate dedicated video so if you're interested in that let me know in the comments below again feel free to subscribe if you're getting value out of this content and i'll see you in the next video